Hello YouTube and welcome back, this is Nico and you're watching Dirty Game. Today we're doing Kingdom Come Deliverance, or I should say we're playing it, and I'm going to do another armor guide. So this is going to be an updated cumin armor guide. Um, I did one in the past that covered most of the pieces of cumin armor, but this one is going to be basically what a really well equipped cumin commander would be wearing. Okay, so if it has the word cumin in it, or if it's a really cumin thing, we have it, but for the things that either don't have that, or... Uh, there's some options. I chose the best options available. So this is the best suit of armor I came up with that still looks very cumin. So, uh, we'll just jump right into it with weapons. So you can see for weapons, we, you know, kept it pretty standard cumin-y. I'll explain the, the metal plated battle axe is an option. Now I chose this because it's the best axe in the game and cumins use axes very frequently. And also, I've come across many cumins on the road that had this specific axe, so I figured it fit. Um... If you wanted to go full immersion, you could use a cumin axe or a saber, but I figured this is good enough. A cumin metal shield, I picked the dark one just because I like how it looks. A cumin bow, of course, the best variant has 74 power, so it's a, still a really good bow, one of the best in the game. And some better piercing arrows, so I figured it'd be well equipped. Plus a dagger for if you want to slit some throats or, you know, assassinate some people. But that's weapons, so let's go on to clothing. So for clothing, we have a pretty standard layout. We have the cumin riding boots, the cumin riding breeches, cumin spurs, cumin tunic, tunic, and then a signet ring and a silver neck chain on top of that. Uh, one last piece of clothing that I kept off just so you could see how it looks as a cumin is the dark padded coif. So, as you can see, that just makes sense because you need a coif. It's, it's the best way to go. But let's see what we have for mail. So for mail, we have the noble's mail coif, the mail trosses, and the long noble hauberk. I just chose these because, you know, like I said, best stats and it's mail, so it's pretty hidden. Uh, you could have, for the Noble Hauberk, there is a Cumin Hauberk, uh, but the stats are significantly less, and it looks pretty similar, so I just decided to go with this one. But now let's see what it looks like with all the armor on. Alright, and so for armor, we have the Aachen Brigandine Trosses, and I chose these because I wanted to have the Cumin Riding Boots, but I also wanted good leg armor, so this was the best leg armor that you can have and also have boots on. Then we have the Cumin Captain's Helmet, which is the best Cumin Helmet in the game. The heavier, Heavy Lamellar Armor, which I think looks awesome, and pairs well with the Lamellar Pauldrons, very Cuman-esque. And then, of course, the best gauntlets in the game, the Nobleman's Gauntlets. So this is the best, or at least the best I came up with, suit of Cuman armor. So if you really want to roleplay as a Cuman, this is the way to go. Uh, with all that in mind, this suit has a total value of one, uh, I mean 11,111 groschen. So it's fun that it came out to 11111. Uh... But anyway, the total AAR, or average armor rating, is 86, making it a decent, you know, it's a decent suit of armor. I'd call this medium armor. It's pretty mobile, you can move around pretty well in this, but it's also still not so much of a tank. So if you want to roleplay and have a little bit tougher time, this is a good suit for it. And then lastly, we have a charisma of 9, which is not very good, and I assume it's like that because you're wearing human armor, and they're the bad guys in this region. So, yeah, so if you want to roleplay as a human, this is the way to go. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.